Hello and welcome. On Christmas Eve, I had to play cornered at a Christmas carol service, and as were guild for having to endure such an experience, I was given this. This is a contrabass valve trombone in the key of F. It uh, has three valves, as you will observe, and it was made in Italy by a company called Orsi, O-R-S-I. Now, I've never heard of, these com of this company before, and judging from the dates, this thing was made somewhere between 1909 and about 1920. So it's fairly old. It's, it's over 100 years old, uh, and it needs a little bit of work. Uh, the person who gave this to me has spent some time cleaning up the bell section, which is why that looks silver and the rest of it doesn't, but the rest of it needs a clean, uh, and there's some other things that need to get fixed up. The water key is horribly bent, um, and the spring doesn't actually apply enough pressure to cover the water key hole uh, appropriately. The finger ring is broken off, it's just held in place by some sellotape, and it's also bent, so we need to fix those things. The valves are a bit janky, although they do function, uh, and they come up to different heights, but I think that's because the second valve cap is, uh, finger button rather, is incorrect it's, it's different to the other two so there's a few things here that i want to clean up as well as giving the instrument a bit of a clean because it smells a little bit unloved so we're going to sort those things out uh, before i do a proper review demonstration of this instrument so let's take it over to the bench and see what i can do this is the water key arrangement. I've already replaced the cork there. Unfortunately, the spring does not apply, apply enough pressure, uh, so I'm gonna have to replace the spring, and I don't have one of them on hand. But the other very obvious thing that I can try and tackle is this uh, bend here. This has got caught in something at some point, and it's horribly bent. Unfortunately, this rod is a little bit bent, uh, so that didn't come out very well. We can see the spring here. It's quite corroded uh, and not very nice. So as you can see with the water key lever, it's bent in a couple of ways. It's bent around this way and it's bent up that way. Now we can't just get some pliers and twist this because what's very likely to happen is that the metal will weaken uh, and crack and that's going to result in it being even worse. So we have to anneal it which means heating this up to a very hot temperature so that the metal becomes a lot more malleable. As you can see, even though I tried heating this up and annealing the metal, at uh, the moment I tried bending it, it just snapped. But uh, it's a, a bit of a setback. Having tried to fix this and failed, and having to repair my fail, this is about as far as I'm going to go with this part. I have straightened it out a little bit, so it's not dangling at the jaunty and, uh, angle that it was before. I did manage to find a spring that doesn't fit, but uh, at least functions pretty well. So now there's a decent seal. The new cork against the... Uh, Exit hole there, it uh, looks like it seals pretty fine. Uh, the water key is back in one piece. The angle is slightly better, but still not optimal. We will now take a look at this pinky ring. It doesn't look like it's attached, and it also looks like that it is bent. And I suspect that it's been crushed slightly too. I think this should actually be sitting up a little bit higher. So what I'm gonna do is soft solder this back in place uh, and just deal with the fact that it is bent. I will gently try and melt some of that off. The trick with this part is heating the section up enough for the solder to melt, but not heating it up so much that the joints uh, melt as well.
The second valve has a piece of cork on the top, and I'm guessing that that is why uh, the valves didn't all come up to the same height. Uh, this cork would prevent this valve from going up all the way. I'm also going to make some new corks uh, because some of them, like this one, don't look too bad, but some of them, like this one, uh, are literally made out of compressed belly button lint. Okay, I've cleaned up the valves a little bit. I actually think these valves might be silver plating, just silver plated, just by the way that they behaved when I put a little bit of polish on them, um, which would be quite surprising. I'm not it's not normal to silver plate valves, in, in my experience anyway. So, let's put the valves and springs and everything back together and see what we end up with. So, I've got this camera here and what I'm going to try and do is put this up the valve so that we can see what the valve alignment looks like. Let's snake this in. This is the inside tubing of the valve, uh, of the valve tuning slide, I should say. And that there is the valve. That's the edge of the valve port on the valve casing. So if we push the valve down, we can see that yellow, goldy color thing that's just appearing. That is the edge of the valve port on the valve itself. So we can see from this that the valve alignment, when the valve is in its fully pressed down position, is actually not too bad. I have finished my little tidy up uh, arrangement. The pinky ring is now attached, the uh, water key is functioning. The instrument is, I believe, supposed to be in the key of F, but to get it to play in tune, I have to have the main tuning slide out that much. That's a horrific amount for the main tuning slide to be out. Uh, but I'm going to push this in um, anyway because it, I, I don't like it being out that far. So you're going to have to put up with this instrument being in the key of F sharp-ish. The instrument is quite compact. Uh, the length of the instrument is, is not actually too bad and it helps that we've got this extra coil up here. But it is very heavy. You're trying to play this and particularly the mass of this bell section, it really wants the instrument to flop around on its side. This here is a friction fit screw with a, uh, a nut that just locks it in place and unfortunately even when that's done up as tight as I can go it's still a little bit loose so when playing the bell section has a tendency to drop down. All in all it is an interesting instrument so without any more ados let's play some music. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 